Hey folks, I'm Dennis. Thanks for watching my video. Today I'm going to unbox and set up a Neewer ring light for uh, taking uh, videos and taking photos. Here's a box that comes in. I think Neewer is the company that I've got this from. I've actually purchased other things from them that I really liked. Uh, lighting, photographic components. They do a good job with their stuff. Okay, so three boxes come out of the main box. This first box has, thank you for purchasing brochure and the instructions. It's got the uh, power transformer and the AC cord. It's got a uh, clamp for your cell phone if you want to use it. It's got a key fob or a, a fob for a remote shutter release on an iPhone or an Android, which is kind of convenient. And then it's got a, uh, <clears throat> a ball mount for the mounting also, so you can you get a, a shoe to mount your camera or whatnot with. And it's got the uh, amber light filters. And I'll get into the white and the amber filters later as we set it up. This box has Stand in it. You gotta loosen up this top T nut, T handle, and you can open up the feet, kind of however you want them. Then you've got the extensions here to increase the height. So I'm gonna go ahead and raise that up a bit so we can set that up. So next is the ring light. One of the little white filters came off, no big deal. The filters have one edge that goes under the next and one edge that goes over. So you just have to make sure you've got that right. And you can tell by looking at them which one goes which way. And they just pop on. So there's the light itself. Then you take this knob on the bottom of the ring light and just loosen it up so the stud is out of there. Put this over top of that, tighten that up. You can use this knob to adjust the angle of the ring light depending on what you're, what you're shooting. You know, if you're shooting like uh, something, you know, down onto a table or whatever, you can tilt it like that. If you're doing like portrait type stuff or videos, you can put it upright. Now, this, uh, this ball mount, the way it works is there's a, there's a shoe track in the top of the ring light, or in the bottom of the ring light, rather. There's a shoe track in the bottom of the ring light, so this slides into that, and then you can tighten up this bottom knob so it doesn't slide out. And then you can take this loose to get whatever kind of a mounting angle you want. Usually it's probably gonna be vertical. Then if you're gonna use a smartphone, you take this piece, put this on here, tighten that up. Then you can open this part up here that's spring loaded. This part's spring loaded. Pop your phone in there, tighten it up, get that pointed the way you want it, and then you're good to go. Or you can put your camera on here or not put anything on here and just use the ring light independent of your camera. If you have your camera on a tripod <clears throat> that's what i'm going to do because sometimes i'll use a ring light sometimes i won't and i don't necessarily want my camera stuck in it all the time so and then the rest is just hooking up the power cord it plugs in under here this part does and uh, then this goes to the wall so i'm going to get all that connected and then we're going to do some samples with uh with the white filter and with the amber filter the ring light is about five feet from where I'm standing and the camera is about two feet behind the ring light. 
So this section of the video is shot with just the ambient lighting in my shop, which is multiple fluorescent fixtures on the ceiling. This is with the um, white filter at about half intensity. This is the um, white filter at full brightness. Now this is with the amber filters on the ring light at about half intensity. This is the uh, amber filters at full intensity. The filters are real easy to, to take care of. They literally just snap on and off. They've got um, ears on the, the inner and the outer surface. So they snap over the channel where the, where the light strips are. So you just, they just pop on and off. One end goes under the other and you can tell which one does, does which. Just pops on like that, piece of cake. There's even a little tiny amber section for right here. I didn't take it off on mine, but it pops in and out also. Just like so. Simple and easy. Thanks for watching my video, folks. I appreciate it. I'll leave a link below in the description on where you can purchase one of these Neewa ring lights. Please give me a like if you would. Give me a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to my channel if you wouldn't. I hope to see you back soon. Thanks. God bless you.